Uh, now that the case has been reported, what's the next step for the state health department? Well, you know, I had a conversation with Dr. Byers earlier today. I actually spoke to him yesterday as well. He is extremely helpful. He's the actual state epidemiologist. And what he conveyed was the Mississippi State Department of Health is doing everything they can to get on the front end of this uh, crisis that we're looking at as far as this monkeypox. And what they're doing is they're educating all the physicians and he updated me on an email that they sent out even before, um, you know, yesterday, which was last week. And it is just giving us information directly to the physicians and all the healthcare institutions, hospitals, clinics, and all the other healthcare organizations to be on the lookout as far as what do we look for and when we suspect that someone has monkeypox to contact the health department and use their resources so that we can identify those individuals isolate them away from the population but also contact tracing so that we can make sure that we can get a handle on this thing before it even takes off so dr green you, you talk about the department uh, has talked to you and doctors like you uh have any other suggestions that they've given to you other than contact tracing and uh any in, uh, instructions to the patients themselves what do you do with them right well basically what they're doing is i actually spoke to um the uh, uh, media outreach person her name is liz charlotte she's with the mississippi state department of health as well she's over all public relations and she confirmed that they do have the vaccine in stock uh, here in mississippi that was shipped from hhs but right now they're only going to provide it to individuals with confirmed um monkeypox contact meaning if someone has monkeypox and it's been confirmed then they'll do what's called contact tracing where they'll identify people that have uh, had exposure to those individuals and they'll go ahead and give them those vaccines that are very very effective so that's pretty much where they are right now but uh, in addition to that as i said they're putting out a very robust information campaign to educate everyone to be on the lookout and what to be on the lookout for and this is so helpful and, and encouraging to our medical community and dr Quinn, what are some of the misconceptions about this virus yeah, you know, there's there's a lot of that going on right now. Um, unfortunately, the most hard hit community includes men who have physical relations with men. And there there's already a lot of stigma um, with that, you know, and, and there's a lot of uh, Reach a lot, a lot of controversy where people are are saying things on social media that are unkind but we have to understand that we are all each other's brothers and we have to look out for each other but also note that even though that's the hardest hit community right now other people can contract this so it can affect anyone so we we need to take this seriously and look out for others but the the misconception that i want to dispel is the fact that only People can get it if you are in that community of men that have physical relations with men. That is not true. Anyone can get it. All you need is that skin-to-skin -skin contact, and, and you, you can get it. You can get it through oral uh, contact. But, but the take-home is we have to look out for everyone, and we have to get a handle on this. And that was the message of the Mississippi State Department of Health. Dr. Clint, I know we touched on this yesterday, but just a reminder, you talked about the vaccine, but is there a treatment for monkeypox? There is a treatment. Now, I actually spoke to an infectious disease doctor earlier today, um, and he confirmed that uh, he thought they had a case in a hospital, but it turned out to be syphilis. They, they did the testing. It was negative. But he, com he confirmed some of the treatments that uh, he's been educated on, because I've never seen a case my own personal self. But he confirmed that, that the primary treatment is supportive. If you get the uh, monkeypox, you can get a super infection like cellulitis of the skin. So a lot of cases, they'll give different antibiotics. Some people can get dehydrated. They'll put them on uh, IV fluids, um, just support of treatment, but there is a treatment called Tecovirumet. It's an antiviral, right? Right now, um, it, it's not available, but if it if the 
if the pandemic or the I'm sorry, the monkeypox infections grow, then the health department would be the one to receive this treatment and then they would distribute it out to the different medical facilities. But the take home is we everybody in the medical community is on the lookout and we're ready to test anybody that we suspect and isolate them away from others. Isolation is usually uh, 10 to 14 days or more until those lesions crust over. But the take home is we're gonna get a handle on this thing and Mississippi is gonna come to the, to the aid of the Mississippians.